everyone, it's Elise, and you are watching the Ready to Start channel, where I bring you plus size fashion, travel, and lifestyle content, both on here and on my blog, readytostart.com. Today, I am coming to you with not one, not two, not three, but four different pride parades and festivals that we went to in the month of June. Am I tired? Absolutely. Was it worth it? Also, absolutely. It was so amazing after two years off being able to be back with our community celebrating in person. So um, here you go. Here is Winnipeg Pride, Capital Pride in DC, Columbus Pride, and NYC Pride. Welcome to Winnipeg in Manitoba, Canada. We are here for Winnipeg Pride. It's also Canada's national pride. I cannot wait to celebrate my first international pride, my first pride in two years. I'm so excited, let's go. So you just had a sip of queer beer. I just had a sip of queer beer. It's beer and it's queer and it's here. I'm gonna stick to my cider though. Cider's for me. I will take this. There you go. What are you doing? It's free! We're waiting for the parade to start. It's coming, you can see it. It's coming, it's coming. It's coming, it's coming. It's coming. What, um, what part of the parade are you most excited for? Dykes on bikes, obviously. They're uh, leaving you, the parade? I hear them, I hear them, I hear them. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Number two. Number two of 2022. We're at Capital Pride in our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. I've never been to Capital Pride before, but we're here with the Lyle, D.C., which is an amazing hotel. And they had a bottomless drag lunch and lights everywhere and flags and so many good things. So now we're going to watch the parade.
takes me back to the first time I ever went to Pride 15 years ago in Chicago. As soon as I hear those motorcycles revving up, it reminds me of my queer awakening, seeing Dykes on Bikes for the first time. There is something so powerful about being surrounded by your community and being the majority and knowing that we can wear what we want to wear and show as much skin as we want to show and just be our authentic selves and be celebrated in our community. There's something just really powerful about being surrounded by other queer folks and not being able to have that community for two years. I definitely felt the loss. Virtual pride is not the same as being physically around people. Um, so it was really magical to just be able to be in the presence of everybody again. Although June is over, that doesn't mean that pride's over. We are queer all year and there are also plenty of cities and countries that celebrate their prides outside of the month of June. So stay tuned and maybe we will pop up at another pride throughout the year. So you'll just have to wait and see. See you next time though, bye!